This is the Black Pot, aka Kokushonama. Well, it's the Sharo tradition amongst the Fulanis. Yes, when you are ready for marriage as a man, they will organize and bring all other men who are ready for marriage. They will whip them. And if you cry, I say, nah, you're not ready. Go back and come next season. They would have to test you and find out how much pain you can take. Because to be able to take care of a woman is a lot of pain. You must be able to protect her. You must go through pain for your woman. If they whip you and you cry, it means you are still a boy. You are not ready to be a man. My brother, my sister, today is all about Africa. This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushonemo. Bana! Come here! Next story. And what does it say? What does it say? Watch it. Sack upon Kruma now. Who is Kojo upon Kruma? That's him. He was my colleague at um, where's the place? Multimedia. He was with Joy. I was with Hits FM. Of course, I used to play on Joy as well and all that. And we were, you know, quite an acquaintance. You know, he did the morning show. Had the morning locked. Whilst I run the mid-morning, bad and rough, with serious reggae rhythms. From that time till now, we have become better. We are like wine. The longer we stay in the bottle, the stronger we get. He's now the Minister of Information. And somebody wants him sacked. Who wants this man sacked? Who is he? Watch this. Sami Jemfi wants this man sacked covid fans upon kruma doesn't deserve to be in office if ag's report is true come here let's talk about it run the story and this is from 3news.com the most authentic news source online right here in ghana it says information minister kojo upon kruma does not deserve to be in office if the findings of the attorney general on the covid spending as far as his office is concerned, it's true. National Communications Officer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Sami Jefi, has said. The Auditor General directed that the Information Ministry refunds some 151,500 Ghana cities to its own management and staff without approval. Mm. This was revealed in the audit of COVID-19 transactions for the period March 2020 to June 2022. Now, during our review, we noted that senior management staff and other supporting staff of the Ministry of Information paid themselves a total amount of 151,500 Ghana cities as COVID-19 risk allowance for coming to work during the lockdown. The report stated, Speaking at the NDC's maiden edition of the Moment of Truth series in Accra on Wednesday, February 1, on the recent Auditor General's report on COVID-19 funds utilization, said, I don't know whether Opon Kruma is still in the country. He doesn't deserve to be in the position in these if these findings are true. He further accused the Akufu Ado administration of engaging in thievery and misuse of COVID funds. He said the government was scared and petrified about calls for air audits of COVID funds. The Auditor General report noted, amongst other things, that the Ministry of Health entered a contract signed on 15 December 2021 for the supply of 26 Toyota His. Deluxe ambulances valued at 4049460.12, out of which 607419.02, that's 607,419 and two pence. Million. Well, it's not up to a million. Seven, I beg your pardon, 607,000. 
409 two pence United States dollars mm, 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 mm. was paid so out of over 4 million they paid over half a million to PV number blah 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 on the 2nd of September 2022 that was my birthday to be delivered by 15th January 2022 according to the latest report on government expenditure uh, between March 2020 and June 2022, the chief director explained that the supplier applied for an extension to meet some technical specifications. Under the current economic difficulties, the supplier could ap apply for price variation to unduly increase the cost of the contract, which could have been avoided if the ambulance had been supplied as scheduled. Dash it away. So the top officials of, of Conkrumer's ministry decided to take money arbitrarily and share amongst themselves at the time of the COVID because the president said frontline health workers should be given some bonuses so that they will be encouraged to do more work at the time that the COVID was seen as the most dangerous thing our country had ever seen. These people who are not health workers, by virtue of going to work, they also consider themselves as frontline health workers and blew over five, over 51,000, 151,000 Ghana cities. So the Auditor General said, refund all the money. Is this Steve Ree? Who sanctioned that? Who gave the ministry? The audacity. Who gave them the order to do this? So Sami Jemfi says, let them leave. This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushonova, where we speak truth to power. Come here. You see, in our country, when we are elected into office, it's time for looting. It's time to steal. It's time to be sly. This is not wisdom. It's slyness. People are just interested in stealing. They come into office, all they do is to steal. How will the country grow? Sadly, we live in a country where the average Ghanaian behaves like a sheep. It's sad. Very bad education. Education that does not encourage critical thinking. So any idiot from the West can come and dictate anything to us. The culture which used to keep us together and the tradition is so disrespected now. So we are now in the middle. We are not on the side of the West. Neither are we on the side of the African tradition. We are just in the middle as a confused people. Religiosity is increasing all over the place. Anybody can be tricked. Pay money so that God himself will come and bless you. And people are throwing away their monies left, right, and center. And you can't say anything about it because that's somebody's faith. Religious commotions. Two different religions fighting and killing each other. So politicians take advantage of this. The ignorance of the people and steal from them. It's sad. The system is not able to track them down. This Auditor General is doing a yeoman's job. I pray that they don't kill him. Because anybody who cracks the whip in this country is seen as an enemy of the people. It's sad. In this country, when you are fighting to get the people to do the right thing, that is when the people you are fighting for fight you and call you an enemy. In this country, Nobody is ready to think critically. No. The few who can think critically, they realize that this is not their country. They live and go to other countries where their critical thinking would be appreciated. Hey, this thing that I'm saying, one day people are going to play it back and sit back and say, hey. In this country, when you are a little critical thinking, you realize that you are the biggest enemy of the people. 
So what do you do? You leave and go to a country where your critical thinking is appreciated. See how many of our leaders we killed all because they were thinking critically. See Nkrumah, gone. Namdi Azikiwe, gone. And many more. I can count them like the sand of the sea. So some of us sit back and we are not encouraged to think critically. When I was lecturing in America, critical thinking was a must. Students must be made to think critically. So I will come up and play a certain video and say, analyze this video. What do you think about it? And students will look at it critically, independently critically. And boom, bring it out. But over here, you will be shocked. Our educational system is a parrot educational system. We are only supposed to recite. The more you can recite, the more degrees you will get with no pedigree. Those who are studying science are studying theory. When they bring them the practical side of the whole thing, they are done. They don't know anything. How can you manufacture a plane? He will tell you everything about the plane, recite it to you, but show him one thing in the plane that's so common to everybody. He doesn't even know the cockpit. It's sad. My brother, my sister, because of this ignorance, our dirty politicians take advantage and they steal and loot until we make the systems work, until we change our educational system from the parrot educational system to the critical thinking one, forget it. Forget it. It won't work. If you want to see the minds of the people, go on Facebook. Instead of doing productive things, they are there showing how big their breasts are, how big their backsides are, and how long they can last in the bedroom having sex. Nobody's talking about how the environment has changed, climatic change, and how to invent or do something. No, sir. The size, the websites that are teaching you how to manufacture things, go there and see how many Africans go there. Zero. But the porn sites, Africans inundate those places. Is it not sad? Go to TikTok. India has banned it. Some other countries around the world have, have decided to ban it. Even in China where it was all invented and cooked up. We've said it time and again. The little children compete as to who can dismantle the whole engine of a car or whatever and fix it back in how many minutes how many seconds that's the competition and they reward them for that but over here is how sexually active you are how big your hips are when you dance how many men can you get to have an erection then people will send you money on tiktok for giving them libido and for making them have big erections is it not sad these are the things I say, and I make enemies. But do I care? Bob Marley said, the more enemies I make, the higher I rise. I am the Bob Marley of this generation. I can't sing like Bob Marley. I don't want to. In fact, let me speak the truth. I wish I could. But I know that singing like Bob Marley is not my calling. I have my own strengths that Bob Marley did not have. And I'm grateful to the Almighty for that. But yes, we share the same thing. The more people fight me, the more I rise. All the dirty people in government. May posterity judge you. May we have a leader who was the kind of spirit that will change Africa. That's all I can say. That's it away and come in. Skip Blackwood. 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 Cuckoo show.